In this problem, we're being given a set of data and we're being asked to make a histogram for it. It says the following are distances in miles traveled to the workplace by 18 employees of a certain hospital. And here you have all these numbers and miles they drive to work. And then it says draw the histogram for these data using an initial class boundary of 1.5 and a class width of 8. So what does all that mean? Well, a histogram is like a bar chart, and the bars represent groups of these numbers. So you might say, the, you know, from 1 to 10, if you drive from 1 to 10 miles, you're in that bar. And if you drive from 10 to 20 miles, you're in that bar. And how tall they are uh, reflects how many people are in that particular group or class. So when they talk about an initial class boundary, that's the starting point for your first class. And when they talk about a class width, that's you know, how far it goes from 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 or whatever it is. The first step, I think, to make this easier is to reorder the data from smallest to greatest. So let's just take a minute to do that. <laughs> and a 37. Okay, running out of room here on my page. But uh, that's the data reordered. Let me just count, make sure I got them all. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Looks good. Now, when we draw our histogram, let's set up our, our classes. It says the initial class boundary is 1.5. And you'll see that they'll go with 0.5s um, so that there isn't a, a data point here that falls right on the line of a class boundary. So let's call this 1.5. And it says the class width is 8. So we're going to go 8 over. Uh, so 1.5 plus 8 would be 9.5. And then we go over 8 more for the next class. That's going to be 17.5. 8 more would be the next class. That's 25.5. And 8 more would bring us to 33.5. And I think that's as big as the biggest number. So we can, oh, it's not. Um, Sorry, we have 37, don't we? So 30, so 8 more would be 41.5. Okay, so there are our classes. Now we need to figure out how many go into each class. So between 1.5 and 9.5, well, that would be these numbers right here. So this bar would be 4 tall. And the next bar, we have um, up to 17.5. So all of those, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that bar is going to go up to 7 here. And the next class would be up to 25.5. That's going to have 4. And then the next class would be up to 33. That's going to have 2. And then finally, the last class only has 1 in it. So if we were going to write our frequencies of data points in here, it would be 4, 7, 4, 2, and 1. And that is how you make a histogram for group data.